family members of this man, Bradley Coleman, can now breathe a sigh of relief now that his accused killer is behind bars. It's been nearly two weeks since the beloved teacher and coach was gunned down. It happened at the QT in Peachtree Corners on a busy Sunday afternoon. Fox 5's Tyler Fingert reports. It's been nearly two weeks since Bradley Coleman was shot and killed right next to this QT air pump. His family is now getting some closure with the arrest of his accused killer, and it's giving them peace of mind. Bradley Coleman was filling up his car's tires on July 10th, just after noon, at the QT gas station near Peachtree Corner Circle and Peachtree Parkway. It would be the final thing he'd ever do. Gwinnett County Police say he was shot and killed in a carjacking attempt gone wrong. It was really priority number one for our detectives because we understand that the public has an expectation that they should be able to go about their daily business um, in safety, and we, we believe that that is true also. 20-year-old David Booker is the person investigators say pulled the trigger. It took police nearly two weeks to make the arrest. Surveillance video from the QT was key for investigators. I know that they worked with Atlanta Police Police Department to follow up on some video footage and they were able to identify the person um, using some of that information. Police say another car with three people came up next to Coleman's and that's when someone got into his car and they got into a fight while he was filling up his tires. Detectives then say Booker shot Coleman and the car took off a seemingly random crime. This incident was a very unusual circumstance and anything that makes our residents feel unsafe while they're in the county, we look at very seriously. Bradley was a beloved teacher and coach in New Orleans and was in town visiting family when he was murdered. A family member tells Fox 5 they're grateful police were able to make an arrest, but didn't want to go on camera as they process this latest news. Last week, Coleman's aunt spoke to us as police still search for the person responsible. Just horrible, just just horrible, you know, um, just complete devastation. The family has planned a celebration of life for Coleman for this Saturday. Investigators are still working this case and they say more arrests could be coming if they get some more information, but they do believe Booker was the man who pulled the trigger. In Gwinnett County, Tyler Finger, Fox 5 News.